So we verify that user implements comparable. All right. We were looking at arrays Java doc, right? That mean, like for example, if the users happen to be using in a sort, then sort can technically call compare to from the users, right? So sort specify array of object into a sending order according to the natural ordering of the elements. But the natural ordering, it depends on how you implement it in your compare to, right? This is an object arrays. So all elements in the array must implement the compatible interface. Otherwise, you cannot sort it. Right. So that's the reason why we have to modify our users to implement compatible. And after that, we instead of using arrays from Java library, we said we're going to create our own linked list. And this is an order list here. So We gotta modify these elements into the list. Has to make sure that they all extends extends comparable. What happens if they're not extends comparable? Right. We see that we try to say, "Hey, current dot get element. Current is the pointer pointing to get the elements that we store into the list. That elements pretty much if I have the users, users." should be returning at this point, right? And be able to get to compare to, which I'm not able to call this method from the user because this is a generate and it doesn't know that I'm going to have that compared to, right? Like if I try to say compare to another object, which is the ll pointer enter dot get elements, right? If I want to compare to, right? And after I compare, you see that's gonna be an error because this E doesn't extend. So we have to do the bounded, generic bounded to tell that, hey, is this is bounded to comparable. Meaning that I can access to that method now and there's no errors, <coughs> okay? So meaning all the objects that can use linked list here, just like all the objects that can use sort, right? Must implement the compatible interface. Same. Must implement the compatible interface, which you can create here, right? Just all elements must implement this as part of your Java doc. In the linked list must Right, so this is just a <clears throat> precondition before you can use this linked list. That's a contract. <clears throat> now, the pointer. L oil pointer I and T. After we compare, so we said this object compared to the new object compared to the one on the list. We start to start from the beginning one right there, right? Or we should do, because the one who moving it should be the current, not the LL pointer, right? We should do get next, right? The current is pretty much the LL pointer already. <clears throat> so doing dealing with LL pointer is not a good idea, it's not wise, because LL pointer stay the same. And we have to look at the next contents and next contents, which is we want to compare 
we actually want to compare the elements that you insert, right? Okay. You can do either way. If you said, hey, the current one compared to element, meaning that what you're looking at now, the current one, if you look at the image, the current one is E, correct? Current is E comparing to the new one that we try to insert is D. What would it return? E is greater than D, right? E is greater than D is going to return positive, right? Or if you want to make it less confused, you can do the other way around the elements and do compare to the current dot get elements instead. Now what should we get? The element is we said D compared to E. D is less than E. You can get the negative, right? When it's negative, that means after you compare if it's less than zero. That means you found the location to insert. Let me explain one more time, right? For example, if the node happened to be G, G, right? New one is G, G compared to E. It will never be less than zero. Because G is greater than E, then it's going to loop. And do the next one because we have to increment your current right so we're going to loop right so we got to loop and you have to increment your current by change your current equals to current dot get pointer right if we have get next this is also perfect right I'd rather that you supposed to implement get next then you can do get next which is right here so what is get next is going to do current dot get pointer <laughs> but it happened to be yeah e which is good Right, current dot get pointer pretty much get next right, get next one, which is exactly the same as this one. Then we can just do get next, which is the same, right? Right, get next, but you have to pass your current in. Next and the elements. Mm, this happened to be returning the elements, so it's actually get pointer and get elements, right? The actual elements like the user, like a letter D or E out, right? User D or E out, which you should not use it here because this is we only want to move to the next pointer so it's better to just do get pointer right there because we don't do dot get elements again to return back so <clears throat> now when I do that if you look at the image okay if you look at an image it's move my current to the next one Right, my current is no longer there. All right, so so current just keep moving until we find location. Let's see. We said we try to do G now, right? If it is G, G compared to F, is it greater than? Yes. So it's not less than zero, so it's going to 
actually i'm talking about iteration first don't worry about it it's going to go move this to the next one right keep moving to the next one right once it moved to the next one it's going to move current to h right so current now is going to move to h and then if i say i'm inserting g Voila, g is less than zero when g compared to h, right? Then we said this is where we want to insert. We found location to insert, right? The new elements somewhere here between f and h, right? So that's why we try to loop, right? To find the location to insert. Now, once we found what we try to do, Okay, so we say, hey, we found life. What we try to do? So first, this part is saying that it's insert in the beginning. If it's in the beginning, same. It's gonna be less than zero. Beginning meaning I'm inserting D instead of G, right? So when we do while the current Right, that D is going to be compared to E. D compared to E is going to be less than. So we found the location. We just check if it's the, the beginning. If it's beginning, then we did, right, put new node dot set pointer to LL pointer because it's the beginning, right? <clears throat> and if you really look at this, we don't have to set to LL pointer because we can set to current too, right? They are pretty much just pointing to the same place here, right? And this is also current. If you look at this current, the red one is current, right? Remember, right? So the reason that I said either is beginning or in between, they both going to have to do set point to do current then I can just move them out because either one is going to do that right then I don't have to repeat inside the same code twice that's why I don't want to do like set to LL pointer that because if I inserting G if it's G is also pointing to that direction right if it is G right <coughs> okay but the one that's different is we found that in between it's going to do this. We found location already. We found in, if it's in between it's going to do this. If in the beginning it's going to do this. For G, what would we do? We have to set F, right, the pointer here to point to G like that, right? And then we should be done. We don't have to move L pointer equals to new node, right? For the D1, you can move LL pointer to new node, right? Like that LL pointer. Let me switch back the color to new node. It's, it, if it's case of D, right? But case of G, we look at this orange color here, right? Now, how do we set the previous? We have to have previous. So that means we have to create a new pointer name previous right and this pointer we can technically set it previous p r e v and then we can set previous dot set links to new node right inside else previous pointer <clears throat> I need to declare it first. So let's declare this. Same like that. And previous pretty much just going to move along with current. Set 